Hello, and welcome back, or welcome to my Canvas Guide series. My name is Kyle Fidalgo, and in these short video tutorials, I cover helpful tips and tricks for using educational technology resources here at Boston College. In this short video tutorial, I'll be covering a feature in the Canvas Gradebook called the Grade Posting Policy. I'll cover how to use it and what options BC recommends for keeping your grading process running as smoothly as possible. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to bc.edu slash LMS and log in with your credentials. After logging in, you'll be brought to your Canvas dashboard. And for whichever course that you want to grade or set up the grade posting policy, you'll go ahead and click that course tile to be brought to your course homepage. From there, you'll click on grades in your course navigation. And this is where you'll be able to set up your grade posting policy. Depending on when you're watching this, Canvas is about to release or already has released a new version of the gradebook. And with it comes a new way to set up a grade posting policy either for your entire course at the gradebook level or on an individual assignment basis. The grade posting policy replaces the mute assignment feature you may already be familiar with. It gives you even more flexibility and control over when students can see grades or what comments you've added to their assignments. I'd like to quickly show you how to set the grade posting policy at the gradebook level and on the assignment level, and then I'll go into more detail about what each grade posting policy actually does for you. To set the grade posting policy for the gradebook as a whole, you'll click the gear icon up in the top right corner, and then click the grade posting policy tab. Once you click on the grade posting policy tab, you'll have the option to either set the posting policy as automatically post grades or manually post grades. To change the grade posting policy for an individual assignment, just hover your cursor over the assignment you wish to adjust the settings for, click the more options drop down here, scroll down to grade posting policy, and this details tray appears where you can change the grade posting policy for an individual assignment. I'm going to go back to the gradebook level options here and discuss a little bit about what these two options do for you. I'll start by saying that BC recommends that uh, you set your grade posting policy up in one of two ways. And this is primarily to help with the ease of grading and if there are any special use cases that come up as you're grading. This will cause the least amount of confusion both for you and your students if you do it in this way. I'll discuss a few of those special use cases at the end of the video, so if you're interested, you could either skip ahead using one of the timestamps below, or just hang tight and learn more about the grade posting policies, and then watch that at the end to see what those special cases may be. So to start, automatically post grades is a grade posting policy that is set by default, the way this grade posting policy works is that as you grade, each grade that you enter will automatically notify the students based on their notification preferences what grade you've entered for them. The same goes for adding comments to assignments. So if you're the kind of grader that doesn't mind that grades are immediately sent to students as you go, then this is a decent grade posting policy to leave as the default. And like I mentioned before, if there's a, a certain assignment that for some reason you want to hide grades from students until you're either done grading or maybe there's a certain date where you'd like to release grades, you can always set manually post grades on an individual assignment basis. If you're the kind of grader in the past who has frequently muted an assignment so that you can control when your students see the grades that you've assigned or any comments that you've added to the different assignments and quizzes and things like that, then it's highly recommended by BC to set manually post grades at the gradebook level. And then on individual assignments where you maybe don't mind if students see their grades immediately, you can then change the grade posting policy to automatic for those particular assignments. When you check the button here for manually post grades, it'll give you a quick description of what exactly the setting enables for you. The main thing to know here is that when you're done grading, it is up to you to post those grades 
and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Some other things to note about the manually post grades option is that, again, it will keep all of the grades hidden from students as you're grading. It also keeps any comments that you've added to assignments hidden. It's also a good option in the use case where, let's say, as you're grading, you determine that your grading curve is too low or too high. You can always go back and change those grades without fear of releasing all of those changes to students. Any changes you make to an assignment with the manually post grades option turned on will prevent those change notifications from going out. So you could be sure that the students will only see their grades and comments when you're absolutely ready for them to. For now, I'm going to change back to automatically post grades, uh, which was the default before. I'm just gonna cancel out of this window and talk a little bit about some of the visual cues that the new grade posting policy applies to the gradebook. The first thing I'd like to talk about is whether an assignment is set to automatically post grades or manually post grades. For each of the assignment headers, each of the columns up here, you can see that for certain assignments, it will just say how many you've graded out of the particular assignment. And for others, like when I expand the column here for week one reflections, this one is set to manual. And this is done on an individual assignment basis. So if I look at the grade posting policy for this particular assignment, you can see that it's been set to manually post grades. This is a good visual indicator if you either forget what grade posting policy you've set or whether or not you know you've set it at a gradebook level. It's an easy way to tell how, how those notifications will be sent to students. If I change the grade posting policy for the entire gradebook back to manually post grades, you'll notice that it updates accordingly to all the different assignment headers here. If the gradebook is set to manually post grades, then you'll need to actually post the grades once you're done grading a particular assignment. And the way you do that is by hovering over the assignment name, clicking the More Options drop-down, and then clicking Post Grades. It will pull up the grading details tray again and gives you two options, either post to everyone or only post to the graded students. Once grades are posted, you will not have to post grades again for that particular assignment. This includes making changes to the grades that you've already entered. With the gradebook set to manually post grades, I can also change an individual assignment's grade posting policy back to automatically if I prefer. I can click on the More Options drop-down for the assignment title, go to Grade Posting Policy, and change it back to automatically. There's one other feature I'd like to talk about because it can be a little bit confusing with the new grade po posting policy changes, and that is the option to hide grades. For assignments that are either set to automatically post grades or manually post grades, you'll have an option to do something called hiding grades. If I hover over an assignment, click the more options drop down here, and then click on hide grades, it will then pull up another grading details tray with some information about what this will actually do. It's important to note that hide grades only affects grades that have already been entered for this particular assignment. Another important thing to know about the hide grades feature is that once you hide grades for an assignment, the rest of the grades that you enter will respect whatever grade posting policy you have set. So what I mean by that is for this particular assignment, it was set to automatically post grades. So even though I've hidden grades, which again, only affects students that have already had grades entered for them. So now when I enter new grades, including adjusting grades for students that were previously graded, it respects those grade posting policy changes and will automatically send those changes to the students. I just wanted to highlight this feature because it can be a little confusing to think about at first. So if I click hide now, one thing you'll notice is that it adds an icon designating that this assignment currently has hidden grades and you'll have an I with a slash through it. So now if I add a new grade, 
And this assignment, I'll just show you quickly, has a grade posting policy set to automatically post grades. Even with grades hidden, it will respect the grade posting policy. So if I change it for the test student, those changes will automatically be available to the test student without me having to show grades again. To show what I mean, and to show another feature of the grade posting policy, when I click on the More Options dropdown and click Post Grades, it will pull out a grades detail tray again and show you how many grades are hidden. So for example, this one, the test student that I changed, you'll see that it's not hidden. There isn't this red dot icon indicating the grade being hidden. And in the grade details tray, it just shows that one grade is hidden. This is because it respects the grade posting policy of automatically post grades. So from here, if I'd like to post all grades again, I can do so by clicking the post button. The same thing works for assignments that have the manually post grades grade posting policy option checked. Let's take a look at what happens for an assignment that has manually post grades as the grade posting policy. This knowledge check number three assignment, in order to either hide or post grades, you first need to enter a grade. As you can see here, the two options are grayed out and I can't select them. If I enter a grade for the test student here, it now correctly indicates that grades are hidden for this assignment. After entering a few grades, I'm going to go ahead and post grades for this assignment. When you're ready to post grades, you hover over the assignment, click the More Options dropdown, and then choose Post Grades. Again, you'll have the two options to either allow everyone to see their grades, or only the graded students. If I select only the graded students, then that will prevent the non-graded students from seeing their grades as you continue to grade for this particular assignment. After entering a grade for someone that wasn't previously graded, you'll notice that the hidden grade icon appears again. Now if I want to post grades for that particular student, I can do so. If I choose everyone, however, and click post, Now, after changing a grade, you'll notice that the hidden grade icon does not appear because it respects those settings that you've allowed everyone to see their grades, even though this is a manual assignment. As you can see, there's a lot more flexibility provided by the new grade posting policy changes. Along with those come some extra things to think about when you're grading. So to recap the recommended grade posting policy settings, I'm going to open up the gradebook settings and then click on grade posting policy. By default, the gradebook is set to automatically post grades, which will immediately release any grades or comments you add to student submissions. This would be the recommended policy to leave in place if you don't mind if students see their grades immediately or any feedback and comments you'd like to leave on assignments. Those will be sent immediately back to students as you grade. If you know that you'd like to have a little more control over when students see their grades, or if in the past you've muted assignments before, then it's recommended to select manually post grades, and then for each individual assignment, go ahead and post those grades once you're done grading. It will be easy to tell in the gradebook what grade posting policy is set for which assignment, simply by looking at the header for the assignment. If it's set to manual, you will see the word manual. In order to post grades, you can click the More Options dropdown and then Post Grades for the assignment. Another easy indicator of whether or not students can see their grades is this hidden grades icon, which is the eye with the slash through it. The last thing to note is when you click Post Grades, you also get another indicator of which students actually have their grades hidden by this red dot icon for each individual student. That's it for this video tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit subscribe to get notified about more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching.